here is a donut. Mathematicians call it a torus. Do you see any connection between this and the costa surface? Probably not. To start seeing the connection, try looking at it in a new way. As a rectangle with opposite edges glued together. To connect the first pair of edges, we roll the rectangle and make a cylinder. We glue the second pair of edges together and in this way get a torus. Having realized that a torus is just a rectangle whose edges are glued together, we'll use the rectangle to help see the stretching and bending that make the costa surface. Let's poke a hole into the rectangle. Repeating this, we end up with three holes. On the torus, we poke the first hole in the bottom of the surface. The next hole is above the first on the inner side of the torus. The third is on the top. We have made three holes in our torus. Returning to our rectangle, we stretch out the first hole by pulling up on the yellow side. The second hole is stretched out by pulling down on the blue side. We end up with all three holes being stretched out. Back on the torus, we pull down to stretch out the first hole. For the second hole, we pull from the blue side of the surface. As we keep pulling, the hole moves all the way down through the torus and out the bottom. For the top hole, we stretch the surface upward. We now have a torus with three stretched out holes. Let's stretch both surfaces at the same time. For the top and bottom holes, we pull from the yellow side. The middle one is pulled from the blue side. 